even though I am a skin therapist, I am an esthetician, it's really not about, for me, because I can pretty much identify and, and do my best to correct any irregularity that one, my clients are having. What's more important to me is somebody who is needing just a little extra something in their life but they don't know what it is. I think my favorite ones are the ones who have never had a facial before and they don't know what to expect. And then once they come to see me, it's, it's life changing for them. I never thought that after doing a facial for somebody, doing some sort of skin correction that it would elicit so many emotions in somebody. And Jasmine, being the owner and the massage therapist herself, people have an emotional release sometimes when you're working with them. I mean, there are tears that flow and it's not because of sadness or joy, um, or it could be, but it's just the fact that somebody took the time with them to heal, correct, um, maybe reveal to them, you know, what they were needing or missing in their life. For women, we are such caretakers, caregivers. Um, we bring harmony to our family and our homes. And we do that selflessly. We, we, we don't even think about ourselves. It's our nature to be um, loving and kind. Uh, what I encounter more often than not is women forget to be loving and kind to themselves. And especially for women who haven't ha ever had a facial, Sometimes they come in after they've lost their husband or a child and they lay down on the table and they think the first thing they'll end up saying is, I can't believe I've taken this long to take care of myself. And for me to deliver that for them, just, I mean, just seeing them here comfortable and relaxed and not having to think about anything else, but being here in silence, it's um, rewarding. I mean, sometimes I'll get clients in and say, okay, what's wrong with my skin? <laughs> and I'll have to ask, well, what do you see that's wrong with your skin? And they don't know um, until we start chatting and they'll say, oh yeah, I do have those brown spots. Oh yeah, I do have that congestion. Oh yeah, I do have these wrinkles around my eyes. How do we fix that? I can really tell the stress level in them because you can feel either TMJ or if I work up here towards the forehead, and they're on the computer a lot, you can really feel and see the stress in their foreheads. And if I come down around on the forehead, down into the temples, you can also feel how the muscle in the temples are just stressed and swollen. And people don't realize how much tension they hold in their face. Like with Jasmine here, we did her dermaplaning and if we're doing more invasive treatments, you know, your skin takes 30 days to renew itself. And so the more invasive the treatment, the longer in between treatments we're going to have to take. You know, the biggest part of my job is listening. You know, we have to listen as therapists and and try and deliver what our clients are wanting and wanting to accomplish for me for the, with their skin for a massage therapist it would be for their bodies and more often than not i'm more of a a therapist than a skin therapist There was a lot of research and a lot of time taken to deciding what is going to work for our clients, what's going to work best for us. So this is just an oxygen serum 
And what it's doing, it's taking the surrounding air in the room and exchanging it for oxygen. So that is what is activating her mask right now. Let's go ahead and just do your plant peel then because that'll still give you a nice little brightening. It can go from very invasive, meaning microneedling, dermaplaning, chemical peels. I was gone for about oh, 20 years and when COVID hit, I thought it was time to come back home. I was a stay-at-home mom and, you know, I kept thinking I, I love to get spa services. And I was debating whether or not I should get a chemical peel. And I thought, you know, I could really do this myself. But the peel that I wanted you had to be a licensed professional to get it. So I thought, you know, why don't we just become an esthetician and then that way I can do it to myself, but I could also do it for other people and help other, feel, other people just feel good about themselves. And so from there, I just took it upon myself to go to school, um, graduated valedictorian um, from Chattanooga and then from there I just started building my skill set with anything and everything that I could get my hands on but I think the most gratifying part of this career this job this passion is just being able to show people the most beautiful side of themselves when they start taking care of the outside of themselves, the inner part of themselves shines brighter. Being able to help somebody facilitate that is probably more of selfishness on my part because I enjoy bringing that out in somebody. I enjoy seeing that joy that they have when I'm done working with them. There's actually been a, a shift after COVID. People have started to come back around and starting to realize how valuable self-care is. First timers into a spa don't know what to expect. And then after COVID, you see more and more first timers coming into a spa and they're looking for alternative ways to take care of themselves. You know, and it's a beautiful thing to be part of that, to see a movement going on and be a part of delivering the message of there's alternative ways to make yourself feel good about the way you're living, or maybe you don't know how we can deliver that education to you on how to live better. You know, I truly believe that when you become a therapist of any kind, there's a, there's a calling in it for you. There's a reason you want to do it. 